Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to kill Zolbra. Uh, and let me show you my setup first. I have full void, trident swamp of the dead, unholy book, and wizard boots. You get most of these from the shops right here, or they're in your bank already. And it doesn't matter what spell book you're on. Some people like being on lunars and bringing bench, but I'm not going to show you guys that. And my inventory is pretty simple. You can just copy it if you'd like. I'll explain it to you later and talk to the wizard and teleport to Zora. and don't worry this boss is safe if you die you keep all your items I brought two magic potions because normally I drink one dose for each kill and I normally get about eight kills a trip and before I go in I put on my magic bonus prayer and I drink a pot of potion and I I attack Zora as soon as possible I get two free hits in before she starts spreading out her toxic gas and I go all the way to this corner right here and when he comes up he's gonna be in melee form and when he goes down like that you gotta run out of spot and then I run back and I attack again and run out of the spot again his next thing is gonna be magic sometimes when he's in this phase he also shoots out range after this it's going to be range. As soon as he goes under I pray and your guy doesn't stop attacking. I run to this black spot right here. Stand there for a while and you'll notice when he stands up he'll stop attacking you. You can turn off your range pair just to save potions. And when he goes under he's going to appear right in the middle and he's going to be in melee form. And when he goes down run away hit him a few times and when he goes down you run away next he's gonna be in magic and like I said sometimes when he's in his face he also shoots out range I'm not sure why though after this phase he's gonna be range he's gonna appear right here and he's gonna shoot out his poison gas so I run to this black spot over here and I attack him It looks like I'm going to kill him a little bit early, so his next phase would have been magic, and he would have stayed in the same spot, and then the phase after that would be his jad phase, and he would have appeared all the way in the west corner. Alright, I'm going to try and get a clip of what it's like to fight him in the jad phase, just so you guys understand. Alright guys, getting pretty close to the next kill, and... It looks like I'll make it to his next two phases, and if not, I'll just let him attack me. Yep, just to be safe, I'm not going to attack him for these next two phases. See, this one's mage. He does this in the same spot. Sometimes he shoots range when he's in this phase, but it's mostly magic. Alright, now he's going to put out more smoke. You're going to want to run over to this side. And you could attack him from here, but when he goes under, he's going to appear over on this side. And this is going to be his jad phase. When he's here, when he shoots range, right then you want to change. Right then you want to change your prayers. As soon as you can see the magic attack is when you switch to range. Alright, and that's self-explanatory from there. You see what colors he is, so you know what he's going to be next. And the jad phase is probably the hardest phase of them all. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later with more tutorials. And stay tuned, I'm going to have loot from 100 Zoro kills coming soon.